Welcome to Horror Movies and Beyond. Today, I'm joined by Alice Lucy and Casper Van Dien, who star in an action adventure, grindhouse epic film of blood and cheese, Mad Heidi. Hello and welcome. <laughs> <laughs> it is it, I am so excited to talk to you guys because I absolutely just love the film. I had a ball. So, I can't wait to get into it. <laughs> All right. Well, you have excellent taste already. <laughs> um, yes, this film just brought back, I mean, just the action and gore that we desperately need and fun. It was just so fun. And if you love Grindhouse and just humor and action, you're going to love this film. Alice, I read about, you know, extensive training and fighting for this role. Tell, tell us a little bit about that. How was that? It was awesome. I mean, I, when I was younger, I was trained in martial arts. So I have a second down black belt in Taekwondo. Um, and then, as I've said before, you kind of have to I was like, oh great, perfect, I'm prepared. But you have to really forget all of it. <laughs> when I was training, I didn't have to make it look pretty. And also I was actually hitting people when I'm not meant to in a film. Oh. So <laughs> it had to be pretty and I couldn't hurt anyone. So it was it was trying to really concentrate and match my body and my brain together. Um, but we had two and a half weeks of, of training um, for all of the fight scenes. Um, before we started shooting. We worked with Tolga and Hachi and their team and an amazing team uh, in Switzerland as well. And they were awesome. They had an idea in their head of what they wanted and they were good at having conversations with me about what I thought I could do or what I thought I was better at. And actually, if they had a move or stunt or something they wanted to try, and I went, I'm not so good at that one, but <laughs> could we try this? Because this I can really do. And they were mm -hmm. really open to having that dialogue. So. Yeah, that, that was really cool. And actually to be able to put what I'd trained so hard into some sort of practice. <laughs> um, that is why I really love your character as well, because as I was watching it, you see her like this vulnerable and, you know, she's with the goat herder <laughs> and stuff like that. And then she was like, had to that sassiness and the rebellious and the fighting. And I mean, how was that like that journey for you? like? It's like you carried multiple coats in one character. I love that journey for her. I think it was really interesting watching it all stitched together because we didn't shoot in chronological order. There were some days where I'd already done a couple of about, you know, scenes in the in the mad Heidi outfit with the halberd and then another day where it would be doing, you know, when I'm on the motorbike and I get captured by Knorr to be taken to prison. So they were all in slightly different orders. And each day I would have to come in with a different energy and a different, you know, what do I know today? What have I done today? What was, well, what's Heidi done today? What does she know today? Um, but I love that she was able to explore so many different versions of her. And I still, I, I think she still hasn't quite landed on who she is yet. I think this has spiraled her into a, she's not just a girl who lives in the Alps. You know, she's not just, you know, up there and, and living a very naive, happy life that actually she has so much to her that she didn't know she had. And I really hope that we get the chance to do the second one because I've told the directors that she's going to be complex. <laughs> <laughs> I hope so too. I hope so. Yeah. Um, Casper, I loved your character. It, I mean, you had fashion sense too. The outfits were just amazing. Uh, but I cannot see anyone and i watched it twice I, to play your character um did you model that character after someone because or, or was it just you just went with the flow of what you believe the president of switzerland was going to be <laughs> I, I i uh thank you i thank you so much um it, alice made it really easy coming on the set because she was already she's you know, just she had already been on it and she'd already been well established and she was kind and she mm -hmm. made everybody, you know, she just made that, she set this, she set the, uh, she set the, the, she set the stage for everything that we were doing. So it was already, I came into a great working environment and I was happy. But beforehand, before I got it, I read the script and I'd been working on a German accent for another film, but that movie got pushed. So mm -hmm. I started working on the Swiss German for it. <laughs> and when, when I was doing it, I would do it with the, the dialect guy and go, and sometimes he would go, that sounds a little too Arnold Schwarzenegger. And I go, great. And then he, <laughs> and then I worked on it with him and he goes, now you're sounding Tommy Wiseau. And I would go, awesome. <laughs> and, then he, 
and 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 he's like going not thinking that this is the way it's supposed to go but i'm loving it because he's telling me things he's like because i would do it in the way and then i would do all these other things and and i and then i would also try to do like christoph waltz he never said that but i always tried um but <laughs> I, was, I was trying to you know i would try to do these things that was fun i worked with when i worked with johnny depp uh on sleepy hollow he was like well i'm playing like this little girl and then a school teacher and then in it and then this so he had like different things he would do and then when pirates of the caribbean i know he was doing keith richards and mm -hmm. and a woman a scared woman or something like he had, <laughs> he had he had different things that he was doing i have no idea what it was like and mm -hmm. so for, i was thinking these things and then i just went let me just have fun and uh and, and i wanted to be as fun in it and and uh, i just wanted to have like there's one time where you know, uh, Schmitz Gable is giving me uh, all this scientific stuff and I'm supposed to come in right away. And I said, can I just look at him for a minute and just be like, <laughs> and then come in with a line? Cause I wanted to look like, I have no clue what he's saying. <laughs> and, and they let me go for it. So they were very cool about it. They're like, yes, 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 yes. And then I was like, oh, cool. Because at first, you know, it's like, can you come in a little quicker? I'm like, I want him to look like he has no idea. <laughs> the hell. We just and it, and it came across for me in that but i also had one time where i said to her i go i say to to alice to, to heidi um mm -hmm. i go bon voyage beach and, <laughs> and they made me say bitch once i wish they let me keep the beach in because that was my favorite one for me. And, I, and she laughed when i said it the first time so. <laughs> well i love the iconic the the iconic phrase you know i'm doing my part i'm doing my part and because i'm a huge fan of starship troopers so as soon as i heard it i was like yes yes <laughs> when, when i when i read the script i go i go to them I go, obviously you guys like starship troopers I go yeah because we want you and i'm like yeah, <laughs> you got me <laughs> you know, like, you know, um after watching this film with uh casper you in it i would love to see you do psycho horror comedy again because i could see it the way you were your demeanor the way you were talking to everybody the way you were just like everybody had to silence and it was just it, you were funny but creepy like you didn't know what you were going to do next and it was just on edge so i would love to see you venture off into more avenues than that hopefully me too. I would love that too. It would be a lot of fun. So from your lips to God's ears, I'm 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 hoping, I'm praying for that. <laughs> Alice, I like I said, I love the journey of your character and and stuff like that. How was it like adding the fight scene and that character and just that sassiness? Because there were moments I just chuckled when they were just dunking your head in the toilet and in, you didn't give up. There were some life lessons in there. Like, don't give up, yeah. don't go, don't, don't give in. I mean, how was that like putting your personality into the character? I think that there's, Heidi's very resilient. Um, mm -hmm. I think that she endures a lot and she goes through a lot in a very short space of time. Um, and I think that while she's figuring out her next step, she lets the world happen. She lets the fights happen in the prison and all that. For me, that's her thinking time. She's really processing what to do, how to get out, who to kill to get out, how to run away. And I think that, I mean, I love shooting the toilet seat. <laughs> it's such a random thing to love shooting, but I really did. <laughs> uh, mainly because the toilet was disgusting. It, it, that wasn't a new, a new toilet. It was mm -hmm. a toilet that they found and they, cleaned they told me and then made dirty i was like but you didn't buy that toilet uh, oh no <laughs> found that toilet. but they um they filled it with black tea instead of water and the art department came over to me and went we filled it with tea so that you feel like you're at home <laughs> so there was a lot of fun on set with that scene but i think yeah for me i just i love i love her that those prison moments where she's sat there and she's watching everyone eat the cheese and she decides not to. That's that's the turning point. She doesn't use the energy on fighting back when people are dunking her head in the toilet. She doesn't snap too quickly when it's just Rottweiler and Knorr and um, Miley in, in the prison cell. She knows she can't fight all three, so she waits and she gets them one at a time. And that for me, I think that's how I took the scenes. <laughs> took the scenes <laughs> time mm -hmm. <laughs> so much to do and so many different things that happened you know the the waterfall um that i'm in when she when she does escape and she falls that was real i mean i am submerged in glacial oh, wow. 
winter and it was freezing cold um I minus three in the winter um <laughs> you know we were up a swiss mountain it wasn't oh, wow fortunate to be on a nice big set with a movie budget and a trailer for me to go to mm -hmm. i literally got out the water and whilst they were resetting for the for the wide shot so we did the close-ups first because i said i want half my body in the water <laughs> <laughs> i will go in um you know i would they ran me to a chair they put socks on me they put moon boots on me they covered me in blankets and had a gas canister to heat me up like that oh was man it sounds like a lot of fun <laughs> <laughs> But I mean, this film was a lot of fun. It looked like everybody on set just had a blast. Um, like I said, um, I just get into the whole grindhouse and just watching it was, it just looked like a loads of fun, action, blood, cheese, um, dictatorship in the most humorous way <laughs> ever. But um, what, I mean, the movie's about cheese. Do you guys have a favorite cheese? <laughs> That you guys like. I, have a, I have a few favorite cheeses and none of them are in the film <laughs> and i think if any of them were in the film i wouldn't be able to eat them again but i <laughs> manchego cheese is my favorite cheese <laughs> i think i say that now and then my mum's gonna be like that's not what you told me um <laughs> manchego cheese and also there's a cheese um i grew up in scotland and in spain hence manchego but when i was in scotland there's a place called aaron and they do Aaron oak smoked cheese, mm -hmm. and it's so good. And they will oh. be my cheeses. Oh, okay, Casper, do you have a favorite cheese? Yeah, Miley's cheese. <laughs> it's the only cheese. <laughs> um, I did. I did want to throw out there. This is the second time I interviewed you, Casper. Um, mm -hmm. There was one time way back. I think it was at Kamikaze, and that was the first time meeting you and your wife. And you guys were yeah. so sweet. And so, and I met you at Monster Palooza when oh, like wow. the whole cast was there from Starship Trooper. So it's just um, it's just how things go full circle now that I have a brand and everything. And because the first time I interviewed you, I had no clue what I was doing. <laughs> <laughs> I still have no clue what I'm doing, but they still keep hiring me. So, <laughs> so I'm so excited. This is going to Blu-ray, digital, VOD, um, and has like special features. Is it a commentary? I'm I'm assuming with you guys on it, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's, it's, us, it's us and the directors, and um, I hope it's good. <laughs> Because we just ended up having a chat and I remember doing, recording the commentary, we recorded it the night before my birthday and everyone was just having a chat and then I would go, guys, guys, there's like three, we've spoken over three scenes, quick, back to the movie. <laughs> you know, I think that sometimes that's the thing that happens in, in, in some of these, sometimes people go off and, and fans actually really love that. I mean, I do, I, when I'm watching it and they just go off on a tangent, for me, I'm mm -hmm. like, I've seen the movie, but then I'm also just getting to understand them a little bit more. And that's always fun. So I think I have no idea. I haven't I haven't watched our commentary, but uh, <laughs> but it'd be fun fun to see it. Well, I hope so, and I hope they have a part two. I mean, Clara and Heidi, we need that. We need that because that ending was classic. <laughs> Thank you. I agree with you. <laughs> so I want to say thank you so much for joining me on here talking about Mad Heidi. Everybody has to check it out. Put it in your collections on DVD, VOD. Put it on your watch list. It's amazing fun, and you guys were wonderful. Thank, Thank you. you, you were wonderful too. <laughs> Our movies and beyond. I'm doing my part. <laughs> you are doing your part. Welcome to the Roughnecks. <laughs> uh, you're it until you're dead or I find someone better. Oh my gosh. Thank you. Like, I've got to go to sleep. Like, oh my God. Thank you so much for watching. And if you want to see more videos like this, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button and enjoy my other videos on my channel.